What's going on, YouTube? Got my update here on my peppers. Hot peppers, super hot peppers, tomatoes back there, basil. All my plant starts I got going on, as well as my cracky stuff over here. Get to that in just a second. Just want to brag about some seeds, because I didn't kill them yet. It's making me all anxious and everything. Got some, uh, let's see, all these guys, I believe, all the way, yep, all the way over to these ones right here. All of these right here are all from my buddy Dave. Got Carolina Reaper back here. We've got, uh, let's get closer, Carolina Reaper, uh, the M.A. Warts, the Lemon Drop. Uh, nothing on the Sugar Rush right here yet. Um, one on the sweet apple. What's that guy right there? Looking beautiful. Ahi Fantasy sticking up nice and tall. Tallest of the group. Jay's Peach um, goes scorpion back there. Nothing on the Ahi Pineapple. Yellow Maruga right here. They all sound pretty daggone hot. Uh, Red Fatale. I've got this one little green thing way down there. Uh, chocolate habanero right behind it. Two of those guys sticking straight up. Brazilian uh, brain strain, one of them. Uh, two of the pink tigers here. One of them. Uh, it's not really picking up on the camera here. There we go, kind of. Yeah, that one is dark. And the other one is nice and green. Pretty goofy. Um, have this little guy. Not sure. Uh, I think it's coming up there. But just sticking up out of the soil, barely, Butch, uh, X Dugla, and then right behind is the Yellow Brain Strain, looking nice. Red Ghost, look how big the, and broad those leaves are, very neat. Same thing with the cow horn later. Uh, the Peach Ghost right up here, uh, nothing on the Chocolate Maruga. Um, white Peach right back here, looking awesome, two of them. Um, the Caramel Maruga, look how tiny those little guys are. Ah, so cute. And then, uh, the other three here are all, uh, freaks, uh, which are the St. Thomas Bane. Nothing right there. And that guy, and those two guys, look like the healthiest, um, freak or, uh, St. Thomas Banes that I've ever seen yet. So, very, very encouraged about that. And then we move back here, we've got um, the Malabar right there in the front. Um, as you can see, popped right up. The one right here, didn't pop up yet, but uh, I'm holding out hope. And then Green Bell over here and here. And uh, that's another uh, question I have for everybody here. Um, <laughs> it's been cold. Um, as you can see my soil here like some of it it's getting pretty dry I've been watering every single day um, I'm a little late on watering today but normally it's about like right when it gets dark I'm watering the soil and uh, what do you guys do with your peppers I mean tomatoes not so much and spinach but just the peppers themselves um, do you usually let it go dry and then water or do you just you know try to maintain where it kind of stays dark like that i don't know why but as you can see like <laughs> i watered everything the same yesterday and uh it's under these uh fluorescent lights here which actually have some heat to them but uh i don't know just wanted to throw that out there and see if anybody had any advice there on watering for peppers specifically because um that's one of the things i usually have a hard time growing tomatoes i'm usually okay you know, anything else, I'm usually okay. But peppers, I've never been uh, the go-to person on peppers. But anyway, moving right along, we got Santa Fe and Poblano. Nothing coming up there. Uh, cow horn. Look at the broadness of these leaves, man. They're gigantic. Um, that's my cow horn there. And mammoth jalapeno right behind it. Indigo rose right here. Two of these. Uh, cells right here. What is that? Three right there. Uh, one of my organic habaneros right there from the seed packs my mom gave me. Nothing on hot banana. Shishito. Um, Mexi Bell. Nothing there yet. Uh, Dragon Kite. And they're just all over the place right there. And Caribbean Red right back there. I finally have one of those guys coming up. Um, way over here, my basil was up. Um, do -do -do -do. What do we got? Brandywine to the right there. 
They look like they're stretchy, but they're really not. They, well, they could be, but I don't feel like they're really that stretchy. But we got uh, Brandy One in the back right, uh, Roma's right in front of them, Mark Lobes in both of the cells in the center, and then we've got uh, Serrano's from my seeds from last year, and right in front of it, some Cajun Bell. So we're already looking really good on most of the seeds. So I'm feeling really good right here uh, is my, that was Carolina Reaper, right? Yep. That was the ones that I ordered from wherever, Amazon or eBay or whatever. So, all right. So that was all these guys and we'll have to fix the foil there. Now over to these. Um, this is obviously my little pepper here. And as you can see, we've got some yellowing of the leaves. So, um, Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, no, I don't know what the sew was, but anyway. Let's get back in. You can see it's just barely down there. My basil, my other basil, they're pretty much doing the exact same. Not really any growth. To be perfectly honest, the ones in the dirt are doing a little better. Um, but uh, I'm also thinking that uh, this guy, well, we'll get to that. Um, anyway, yellowing of the leaves over here. So. Moving right along, here is my uh, my four squash. They're gigantic. Um, look at this growth here, man. I mean, it's already starting to uh, put out all those goofy little uh, whatever dealies, the little like squash type uh, things popping right out. Um, can't remember what my light schedule is, but I think it's like uh, 16 hours on or something like that. Or, Maybe it's like uh, something around there. But anyway, they're looking pretty good, except as you can see, we got like right here. I'm pull this guy out a little bit. You can see right here, this guy has like a curly leaf there and it's kind of yellowing and has some like dark tips on it. Um, yeah, right over here, you got some yellowing. There we go, I'm starting to pick up a little bit. There we go. So that's what's going on. So, um, so far, all I've done with either one of these is thrown a little bit of maxi crop and uh, some Epsom salt in both of them. Epsom salt's just magnesium, and um, the maxi crop is uh, what? Potash, potash, whatever the heck that word is, the K, NPK. Um, so, I'm thinking, I did a little uh, searching around before I started this video, and they were saying that uh, with squash, um, they'll start to yellow if you uh, start to stress them, or if they're uh, starting to get low on nitrogen. So, what I decided, I brought in my uh, fish fertilizer, my emulsion, and it's 511, so that's 5 for um, nitrogen. And I figure I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit in. Unfortunately, I brought it in. It's like freezing outside right now. It's in my garage. And even though it's kind of liquidy, I don't want to like uh, put it in there. And like, I don't know if that's really going to shock the plants and the roots and all that stuff. But I think I'm going to let it warm up in the room temperature and then add it in the morning. But, I mean, it's getting really big. And it's got some really big leaves on there. And, uh, the roots. Just been looking. Look at this. Gigantic. I didn't even pull it all out yet. I don't think I can, but yeah, it's pretty big and it's still got a bunch of water in there. So it's not like uh, it doesn't have any water. So it's looking awesome. Having a lot of fun with this. So hopefully this nitrogen will correct this problem. And like I said, this guy's got the same thing, but all I did was add maxi crop and Epsom salt because I forgot all about this stuff and uh, didn't want to use Miracle Grow. But that's it. That's the update. All these guys are looking gigantic. I already have plans on what I'm going to do from here. Maybe try to uh, take one of these and put them in their own um, uh, container and have them go that way, or I don't know. I haven't got that far yet, but I gotta do something quick because the roots are growing gigantic already. So maybe I'm gonna need like a five gallon bucket or something for these guys. 
But anyway, that's the start of it. That's my update. That's all of my beautiful little seeds. Thank you to everybody that helped me acquire these seeds. Dave S and W or Dave S and W V and J T Bear. Make sure you go check out those guys. I'm always plugging them because I think their videos are better than mine. So uh, go check out their videos if you thought this was halfway decent. You'll love their stuff. Anyway, that was my look around my little makeshift uh, grow room here, and probably going to have to start putting some new foil on this because it is all mangled and stuff like that. But anyway, i got to water these seeds, and I will catch you next time. Don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, all that fun stuff down below. See what I'm getting up to next time, and I'll catch you then. Later.